and we're tracking a major military emergency with an impact on Arizona soldiers. Good evening everyone, I'm Liz Lostra. And I'm Toby Phillips. A gunman opened fire at a military readiness center at Fort Hood, Texas, leaving 12 people dead, including the gunman and 31 others wounded. As of right now, two other suspects who are soldiers are also in custody. Now, Fort Hood is in central Texas, halfway between Waco and Austin, and it is the site where many Arizona soldiers go to prepare for deployment overseas. 86 servicemen and women from Tucson just left for Fort Hood last week. Tara Prindeville is in the newsroom tracking the latest on this developing story. Tara? We have confirmation tonight from the Arizona National Guard that all Arizona soldiers currently at Fort Hood are safe. In the meantime, Army officials say the name of the shooter has been confirmed as Army Major Malik Nadal Hassan. The names of the other two soldiers that were allegedly involved have not yet been released. The 31 people wounded have all been sent to local hospitals in Central Texas. Officials say the victims are a mixture of men and women, military and civilian. Fort Hood is one of the largest military complexes in the world. It was put on lockdown as well as schools around the area. President Barack Obama expressed his outrage just a few hours ago. It's difficult enough when we lose these brave Americans in battles overseas. Uh, it is horrifying that they should come under fire at an army base on American soil. We also contacted military installations around Arizona to see if they are increasing security in the wake of this shooting. Luke Air Force Base in the West Valley, the Arizona National Guard Armory in South Phoenix, and Fort Huachuca near Sierra Vista all tell us that their security levels have not changed. Live in the newsroom, Tara Prindeville, Cronkite News.